Okay, it's three months later. I've still got my XS20, so here are my thoughts. Okay, so I have the XH2S already. I have an X Pro 3. So why did I buy the XS20? So I bought the XS20 because I needed a backup camera to my XH2S. My thoughts were I was gonna buy a X-T4, but I had borrowed that camera from my sister and I really found a few kind of things I weren't happy about with that camera. And I think if you're watching this and you had the X-T4, you might be able to relate. But this became more than just a backup camera. And I really think it's unfair to call it a backup camera when it's such a powerful little thing because yeah, it's small, but deceptively it's got great ergonomics. The grip on this thing is really nice and deep. They've got one of these NPW235 batteries, which allows you to have such a deep grip on this camera. The EVF is pretty nice and open and big. The flippy screen, the customizable dial, the vlog setting, the fact that it has a flash. I mean, there are, uh, a ton of reasons why actually this is more than just a backup camera. It's more than an entry level camera too. It's definitely, it sits in the mid range. So if you're starting out and you kind of want to get at grips with Fuji and one of their cameras, I do think that this is a good little buy. This has also become my new travel compadre. I find that if I'm going on a trip and I'm taking it for the weekend and it's for my use, not work, then I'm always choosing this at the moment. And the thing I really have a sort of, I'm having some sort of uh, relationship with is the Fuji film recipes. They make my heart sing. I love using the Fuji film recipes. Coming up with my Italian themed recipe when I went to Italy in the summer, like uh, match made in heaven. I really felt I was in the, in the flow state. I was kind of inspired, I was taking pictures left, right and centre. I love that you can also apply this to your video. So all the footage that you're seeing here is curated with that recipe. And that has something that's really surprised me, how much this has inspired me, this camera. It just makes me wanna go out and take it. I don't feel like a professional photographer. I feel this is more sneaky. I'm a tourist. I'm not someone who's trying to you know, make content. I'm someone who's just enjoying you know, taking good photos. And that's how I wanna feel sometimes. I am obviously a photographer and a filmmaker full time but sometimes I would just want to be a tourist and I am taking just a nice photo. I'm not just trying to make content. And so I think that this helps. This really is a good camera for letting you kind of, you know, fall into a different category. That's why it's mid because it's more than an entry level camera. And I do apologize if I kind of maybe led people to thinking that way. It's entry in the terms of entering a professional sense. If you want to like maybe start up in your game from something like the X-T30 or something like that, I think that then this is maybe, you know, the way in. It's the mid-range beast. It's something that, like I said, for me as a professional, I, I'm drawn to this. This is a, a camera that I love to keep in my sling bag. I like minimal gear. I like minimal powerful gear and this is both of those things. Because of my affair with Fujifilm at the moment, I just love the fact that I can produce my recipes, produce work, I can have an inspired moment and and use my gear to that effect. Obviously, uh, if you are a Fujifilm member, I was gonna say, if you're a Fujifilm owner, then you know you can use many of your lenses that you already own and look it's a great camera it's one that's inspired me and i have i think that has inspired a lot of others are there any drawbacks to this yeah but minimal i've heard there are some overheating issues but i think that's if you are you know if you're using this maybe as your workhorse and i don't think that that's this is where it could be controversial i don't think this is someone's workhorse. I don't think this is gonna be able, maybe it will, I don't know, to perform on a day-to-day, -day, like I am with the X-H2S now. I have been recording for two or three hours now with this and I haven't had any problems. It loves just going and going that thing. 
And that's my workhorse. That's the thing I can really rely on day in, day out. Can I rely on this, especially if there are overheating problems? I don't know. Like I said, it's a backup camera for me in that sense. You know, with the ability to shoot in 6.2K open gate is, for the price range, really, really good. It's got all those bougie film simulations already inside. Like I said, there's the vlog mode, there's the product priority mode. You know, there's loads of cool features. Some, like I said, may or gimmicks I think are pretty uh, you know they're great for people like I said who want to get involved in filmmaking or photography so to synopsize this you know my three months with this camera has been a bit of a love affair I have enjoyed just taking photos making recipes and taking it away with me I feel bad sometimes for saying you know to my ex HTOS, like, yeah, you're staying and you're staying home today. I'm taking out this guy. Maybe we'll talk more in six months or maybe a year. So for now, this is probably the camera. Um, you know, I'm, I'm taking with me on my nice trips. I'm taking with me when I've got a bit of J time. So, and if I want to create a few more Fuji recipes, then yeah, I'm probably going to be doing it on this. I've got some Fuji film recipes coming up, some nice wintry vibes. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Video is coming out of my behind at the moment. So thank you if you're with me and you've subbed. I really appreciate it. Got any questions, as always, drop them in the comments. I know only so much. I love that there are loads of people on here in this community that can answer the questions I don't because, as I always say, I'm not a professional when it comes to gear. I do, you know, I play with this stuff a lot, so I have some experience. So if it's worth anything, then that's great. Thanks for watching. Let's make some waves. As always, I'll see you in the next one.